Today on Health and Fitness Magazine, I'll be talking to three world champion bodybuilders. And we'll be asking these three gentlemen about bodybuilding as a sport, why they became interested in it, and the importance of weight training in a total fitness program. Please join me, Eric Sieb, on today's show as we continue our series on Nautilus with our guests Mike Mincer, Boyer Co., and Ray Mincer. Today on our show, we're talking about the sport of bodybuilding and weight training. And I'm privileged to have as, as my guest three world champion bodybuilders, Boyer Co., Ray Menser, and Mike Menser. Thank you for being with us, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Boyer, you've seen over the last 20 years bodybuilding as a sport go through a huge evolution. Can you tell us a little bit about this evolution? Well, I think that the sport has changed somewhat, uh, and in some ways not necessarily for the better but it has become a little more acceptable in the fact that I think basically all of America is caught up in a youth syndrome and that being certainly the way to achieve that is through fitness so people have uh, appreciated uh, or come to acknowledge a sport a little better through their own interest in fitness uh, it, it's become a little more acceptable but I think it still has a very long way to go Mike. I think too, Eric, that the public has become more enlightened as to the, the benefits of weight training uh, and bodybuilding per se for years, of course, and even now, uh, there are many myths that surround the sport. Probably more allegations have been leveled against bodybuilding uh, as a sport more than any other, and of course, most of those aren't true. Ray, what about some of the other myths involved with, with bodybuilding as a sport or the people who participate in it? Well, for one, we would never consider athletes in general. We were supposed to be like the prima donna types who sunbathe all day and no work, just laying on the beach, you can't scratch your heads. Like there's no articulation, there's no, <clears throat> excuse me, brains or nothing behind it. But it's a very mental sport. It takes a lot of concentration, a lot of drive. And there it's a catalyst for more uh, higher endeavors. When people think Boyer of bodybuilding, they think of the whole time being spent on weights. Is this entirely all that's involved in the sport? Well, if, actually, if you want to be successful, at it. Uh, it doesn't, you know, go in the fact that the more time you spend in the gym, the better you'll be. You know, most people assume that if a little training, you know, makes a tremendous change in the body, then a lot of training or more training will improve you that much more. And that's not necessarily so at all. There is a lot involved in the preparation for a physique contest, but the training to provide the stimulus for muscle growth which is uh, a, a very important part of it, but it's still a very small part of it. There's a lot of other aspects involved as well. Mike, although you are now retired, describe, say, your typical training program prior to, say, a competition. What do you put yourself through? Well, I would start approximately 12 weeks before the contest, depending upon my condition. And each one of the weeks leading up to the contest, the training would become actually briefer and more intense. Uh, and probably the last week before the show, Believe it or not, I wouldn't train at all. I would rest up, uh, try to get myself together mentally, lay in the sun, go over my posing routine and so forth. How, how vigorous and how much discipline Ray is, is involved in the posing aspects of, of bodybuilding? Well, just take the advantage of how many people, for example, look at their backs every day. To control all the muscles in your back, to be able to hit a double bicep back pose, you have like 23 muscles attached to each side of the scapula. To hit them all at once it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of time. And how many people are really aware of their bodies in general? They look in the mirror and they see their big bellies and all they're aware of is their forks going in their mouths. So it takes a lot of mind-body type of uh, concentration. Keeping in mind myself here, what are my chances for per participating in, in, in a bodybuilding competition? Uh, can anybody get involved with it? Well, certainly anybody can get involved in it. Uh, maybe not from the standpoint of competing, say, in a physique contest. Everyone should be interested in looking the best that they possibly can look in achieving their full potential but basically in bodybuilding as in, in many other sports champions are born not made genetics plays uh, a very important part in it uh, I mean the best situation that you could have is if you could pick your own parents unfortunately we can't do that but for a young kid Mike say who sees a, a bodybuilding magazine how does someone go about getting involved with the sport um. Well, primarily through the magazine, first of all, that was my initial introduction to the sport. Um, from there, you, of course, have to develop the physique that warrants you're going into a contest. Then you seek out the, the proper officials on the local level and sign up and enter the contest. 
is it a, is it a hard procedure to get involved with? I mean, do you have to go through no. a lot of channels? No, uh, most lo local and regional areas have uh, AAU chairmen that uh, are very accessible and easy to contact. It's no problem. <clears throat> What about seminars? Do you all give seminars now around the country on bodybuilding, talking with young people and how they can get involved with the sport and the training type of things, Ray? Yes, I've, we've all have been doing seminars for the last five or seven years, and it uh, has its peaks and valleys, but just to go out in the public and try to make, give a general understanding about physical fitness and training, to give a healthier attitude, and uh, it seems like top names do draw that type of attention. Boyer, if you could describe a moment in your career that really stood out as far as being a champion, where would it be? Well, there's no doubt. Uh, probably the most excitement for me, and even though I've competed like for the last 19 years straight, uh, the most pleasure that I got out of winning a competition was the very first Mr. Universe contest that I won in London, which goes back to 1969. It was the first international event that I was fortunate enough to win. Where do you see my quickly bodybuilding going in the next 10 years as a sport? Um, not, not so much further as a sport per se, but I see it being even more accepted generally by the public, but in a more softcore fashion, uh, with the interest not so much on building large, bulky muscles, but uh, some muscular mass with lots of tone and definition. Our topic today is bodybuilding as a sport. Our guests are Boy Co. Ray Mincer and Mike Mincer coming up. Our fitness exercises with our expert Jill Wilcott. Stay with us. We're continuing our discussion on the sport of bodybuilding and weight training with our guests Boyer Co., Ray, and Mike Mincer. Mike, you've just recently completed a book on weight training. Right. What, why, is, why is weight training such an important part of a total fitness program? Well, actually beyond that, weight training, nautilus training or barbell training per se, is the only single activity that allows you to enhance the four components of physical fitness within that one activity, not having to spread it out over uh, a number of activities. The four components, of course, being muscular strength, cardiovascular fitness, flexibility, and one that's not mentioned very often, stress reduction. Is weight training, Boyer, limited to any one sex or age? No, and I just wanted to add uh, to what Mike had said, is the fact that uh, particularly it's true in athletics of any kind, a stronger athlete, regardless of the sport, is going to be a better athlete and uh, certainly weight training uh, you know and the involvement in that area is going to produce uh, a more efficient athlete but uh, to answer your question there no uh, weight training for women for many years was frowned upon by a lot of people and women in general felt that you know they would become uh, more masculine if they trained and actually uh, weight training lends itself for a woman to uh, develop a much more voluptuous figure, which I think all women are interested in. Certainly all men are interested in that. Ray, you do a lot of training on Nautilus equipment. What is, what is the beauty of the Nautilus machine to enhance your training? Well, number one, I don't do a lot of training, about an hour and a half a week to most. Oh, really? Uh, to enhance it is the fact that they're designed to fit the biomechanical positions of the body. And therefore, to go over a full range of movement to get to maximum contraction, I cannot worry about crushing myself with weights or missing the groove or, or somebody spotting me, per se. I can put all my concentrated effort right into the uh, machinery. Another comment in, on these two is that weight training in general will help adapt to different stress of everyday life also. Better condition, you'll be able to handle your work better, uh, your recreation activities, what have you. Mike, many people are afraid to get into weight training programs because they're afraid they're going to gain weight. Is this true? Well, they may gain weight, but if they're training properly and eating properly, it will be muscular weight, which in most cases will enhance the individual's appearance. So it's something they shouldn't worry about. So actually, the weight is being proportioned in muscle rather, right. than, rather right. than fat? And while they're, while they're gaining the muscular weight, they're probably losing the fat again if they're eating properly. Can someone, Boyer, actually lose fat through weight training? Oh, certainly, because... Uh, it is a proven fact, although this has been argued back and forth, that weight training, if done correctly, provides uh, cardiovascular benefits which also aid in burning calories which would reduce body fat at the same time build muscle, lean muscle tissue. 
cardiovascular benefits, my people are now worried more and more about their, the shape of their heart. Um, is bodybuilding or weight training, let's say, <laughs> can that supply that? Absolutely, if, if done in a proper fashion. If you don't rest too long between sets and you allow your heart to sustain a certain elevated pulse rate, which is adjusted according to age, I think it's on the order of 20 minutes three times a week, you will enhance your cardiorespiratory health. Go more into just strength aspects, Boyer, and how we're needing strength more and more uh, as athletes. Well, as I mentioned, you know, a stronger athlete, uh, which naturally is produced by weight training or uh, training of uh, oh, high intensity, is going to produce a better athlete. And as long as an athlete participates or continues to practice his skill for his particular sport, it's going to enhance that as well. I know this was one of the gray areas many years ago. They felt, for example, if a boxer trained with weights, it would, he would lose his flexibility or his punching power. Nothing uh, could be further from the truth. Even you have people of, of highly skilled sports such as basketball or golf or tennis, uh, you know, weight train and have become more efficient and better at their sport because of this. Eric, yeah. I might add most bodybuilders are abs actually more flexible and more agile than, than most non-athletes or non-bodybuilders. Uh, when John Grimmick won, I think it was the 1947 Mr. Universe contest, uh, he did a backflip off of the posing platform and landed in a split. You can't be muscle-bound to do that. Ray, what would you recommend the steps to be taken in first starting into a weight training program? Well, number one, you have to define what your goals are and what you want it for. Next is to either try to get a basic background on the subject, go to your nearest club and try to find the, the top person there in your Nautilus Center, have them put you through the workout, and just go through it and just enjoy it. Don't be uh, obsessed with it. Just enjoy your training and go from there and see where it takes you. Boyer? Yeah, a facility that would provide uh, an excellent environment to train in and also, you know, investigate several different clubs and find out which one offers the best qualified instruction. What is the importance, Mike, of having an instructor with you when you're working out? Well, for a beginner, of course, uh, to prevent yourself from making mistakes. Uh, but in the long run, even for some advanced bodybuilders, uh, having an, an instructor or someone there, a training partner, to just goad you along, uh, make sure that you're doing your repetitions in the proper form. Even, even a top professional can lapse occasionally uh, and injure himself just through improper form. So uh, for guidance and inspiration. Our guests today have been Boyer Co. Mike and Ray Mincer, thank you gentlemen for being with us. Stay tuned with us. We'll be having some scenes for our next show. We'll be right back.